Understanding Immigration and its Impact on Native Cultures Introduction to Immigration Immigration is the movement of people from one country to another with the intention of settling, either temporarily or permanently. This phenomenon has been a part of human history for centuries and has contributed to the cultural, economic and social development of nations. However, immigration can also have complex effects on the native populations of host countries, negative impact on native cultures. One concern often raised about immigration is its potential impact on the native cultures of the host country. As immigrants bring their own customs, languages and traditions, there can be a blending or dilution of the native culture. This can sometimes lead to tensions, especially in cases where the native population feels that their cultural identity is being overshadowed or lost. For example, native populations might experience changes in local traditions, languages and social norms which can create a sense of cultural displacement or loss. Controlled immigration and preference for small numbers. Some native populations and policy advocates argue that controlled immigration, particularly in smaller numbers, is preferable. This approach is believed to allow for better integration of immigrants into the host society, reducing the likelihood of cultural clashes and ensuring that the native culture remains dominant. Controlled immigration can also help manage the strain on public services and infrastructure, which can be more pronounced when large numbers of immigrants settle in a short period, policymakers and statistics. Policymakers often rely on statistics and data to make decisions about immigration. They consider factors such as economic contributions, demographic changes, and the capacity of social services. However, these numbers do not always reflect the lived experiences of native populations. While statistical models might show positive economic impacts or manageable levels of cultural integration, the everyday experiences of natives, such as changes in community dynamics or perceived threats to cultural identity, can tell a different story. When all else fails, the return to basic instincts. In situations where all avenues of addressing concerns have been exhausted through dialogue, policy adjustments, or social initiatives, some individuals or groups may feel they have no other recourse but to revert to more primal behaviours. History has shown that when people perceive their culture, identity, or way of life as being under threat, and when peaceful solutions seem unattainable, they may resort to violence as a last resort. This reaction is driven by deep-seated instincts for self-preservation and protection of one's community, reflecting the animalistic traits that lie at the core of human behaviour. While this is not an inevitable outcome, it underscores the importance of addressing concerns before they escalate to such a point. Comparative Perspectives Non-Western Nations In many non-Western nations, the idea of large-scale immigration and its impact on native populations would likely be met with resistance. Cultural preservation is often a strong value in these societies, and significant demographic changes could lead to violent pushback. The reaction in these contexts underscores the importance of understanding and respecting the cultural sensitivities of native populations in any country when formulating immigration policies. The disconnect causes and manifestations the disconnect between government officials and the native population can stem from several factors. Different lived realities, government officials, particularly those at higher levels, often live in environments that are vastly different from those of the average citizen. They may reside in affluent areas, have access to exclusive services, and enjoy a degree of security and privilege that insulates them from the everyday challenges faced by the general public. This separation can lead to a lack of understanding or empathy for the concerns and struggles of the native population. Bureaucratic detachment. Government institutions are often large and complex, with multiple layers of bureaucracy. As policies are developed and implemented, they can become increasingly detached from the realities on the ground. This detachment can result in policies that are perceived as out of touch or 
are unresponsive to the needs of the native population, leading to frustration and distrust. Focus on statistics over human experience. Government officials frequently rely on statistics, economic models, and projections to make policy decisions. While these tools are valuable, they do not always capture the full scope of human experience. For example, a policy that shows positive economic outcomes on paper may still lead to adverse effects on communities, such as cultural erosion or social fragmentation. This emphasis on numbers over people can widen the gap between government actions and the lived experiences of the population. Political agendas and short-term focus. Elected officials often prioritize policies that align with their political agendas or that will yield short-term gains, particularly in the lead-up to elections. This can result in decisions that serve the interests of a select few or that fail to address the long-term needs of the native population. Such actions can erode trust and foster a sense of alienation among citizens. The native population, paying the bills and bearing the burden. The native population, as taxpayers, are the ones who fund government operations and public services. They are the backbone of the economy, contributing through their labor, investments, and consumer activities. Yet, when there is a disconnect between their needs and the actions of their representatives, the native population often feels that they are left paying the bills for policies that do not benefit them directly or worse, that actively harm their interests. This sense of injustice is compounded when citizens see their taxes being used in ways that seem wasteful, inefficient, or contrary to their values. For example, large expenditures on programs that do not directly benefit the local population, or that prioritize the needs of non-citizens over natives, can lead to resentment. The native population may feel that their hard-earned money is being misused, with little regard for their well-being. Governance by consent, a foundational principle. In democratic societies, the legitimacy of government is based on the principle of consent of the governed. This means that government authority is derived from the will of the people, who are supposed to have the power to choose their leaders and influence policies through democratic processes. Governance by consent is a safeguard against tyranny, ensuring that power remains accountable to the people. However, when there is a disconnect between government officials and the native population, this principle can be undermined. If citizens feel that their voices are not being heard, or that their consent is being taken for granted, they may become disillusioned with the political system. This disillusionment can manifest in various ways, including decreased voter turnout, civil unrest, or a rise in populist movements that change the status quo. It is crucial to recognize that people are ultimately ruled by consent, not by force. While governments have the power to enforce laws and maintain order, their authority is contingent on the support of the population. When that support erodes, the stability of the entire system is at risk. Conclusion Immigration is a complex issue that affects both the immigrants and the native populations of host countries. While it can bring economic benefits and cultural diversity, it can also lead to concerns about the preservation of native cultures and social cohesion. A balanced approach, involving controlled immigration and careful consideration of both statistical data and the lived experiences of native populations, is crucial in addressing these concerns. By understanding the perspectives of both immigrants and natives, policymakers can develop strategies that promote harmony and mutual respect.